Hello and uh, welcome once again to the Love Spoon Workshop. This video is our guide, our top 10 tips for anyone who's starting uh, making love spoons. There's actually 11 in the list, but we get onto that straight away. Now, uh, number 10, start simple. Try to keep it fairly straightforward to start with. Depending on your ability level, some people are used to working with their hands and can start at a higher level. But as a general rule, making something like this is a lot easier than starting off trying to make something like this. So rule number one, or tip number one, start off nice and simple. Try different woods. Now you may come across different people uh, who've got different experience in different sort of fields of woodworking, wood carving, and they may recommend a particular timber to you. Give it a go. But be open-minded. Uh, there's no right or wrong. Try different woods. You've got mahoganies, you've got lime, you've got things like the uh, oak, you've got ash, sycamore. There's all sorts of different woods. Find out what suits yourself. So that's our tip number two. Have a go at carving different types of wood. Tip number three. Try to mark out your love spoon with a vertical grain. It's easier to carve and it's also stronger. Okay, don't, because one of the main problems, if you carve it out and it's got horizontal grain, the problem is it makes your spoon too easy to break. Tip number four, equipment. You don't need lots of equipment to get started. Just a few curved gouges, a coping saw, a clamp to hold it, and some different sandpapers. Keep it nice and simple. Don't go and buy loads of kit to start. Find out about the woods, learn how to do a bit of carving. You can always invest in more equipment and more expensive equipment as you go along. Tip number five, enjoy it. It's a lovely process, it's a lovely material to work in, and it's a lovely tradition. And it's something that if you're doing it as a hobby, an interest, or if you're doing it on a daily basis like ourselves, you can just relax and enjoy it. So that's tip number five, enjoy making your love spoons. Tip number six, uh, keep it affordable. Equipment, tools, mechanized tools, all sorts of different things. It can get really expensive, wood as well. You can end up spending a lot of money on your, your wood, on your tools, all of these things. So tip number six, keep it affordable. You don't need to spend a fortune to get started with making love spoons. So that's our tip number six. Keep it affordable. You can start off with a few gouges, a clamp and a coping saw and some sandpaper. So keep it simple, keep it affordable. Tip number seven, stay safe. Uh, you're working with some quite sharp implements. Okay, these, these can do a bit of damage. You're working with machines, with saws and things like that. Stay safe. When you're carving, keep both hands behind the blade and try to carve away from yourself. Okay, so tip number seven is stay safe. We don't want any injuries carving a love spoons. A trip to A&E tends to spoil the fun. Tip number eight, relax. We do a little bit of a test when people uh, first have a go at doing wood carving, called the white knuckle test. Quite often, when somebody starts to carve, you'll see them gripping the tools. A little bit of nerves, a little bit of nervousness, and they'll be gripping the tools and the mallet really, really tightly. And you'll see white knuckles. So, relax, nice relaxed grip. Tap, tap on the top of the gouge like so. Just relax and you'll carve much better. Tip 
Top tip number nine. Uh, when it comes to carving love spoons, there are very few rules and regulations. We tend to carve them from one single solid block, but there's nothing written down to say you have to do that. There are no rules or regs, so you can do whatever you want. Try different carving styles, try different woods, different methods, give it a go. Just try different things and see if you're happy with the end results. So top tip number nine, don't put rules and regs in your way, just have a go. Top tip number 10. Don't worry too much about the end result when learning. It's a process. Sometimes you'll make your first love spoon and you're not happy with the final result, but that's fine. It's all part of the process of learning to carve love spoons. As we said previously, you can start off with something simple like that, but if it doesn't quite come out as you're hoping, don't worry about it too much. It's a process you'll improve as you spend more time carving. So top tip number 10, don't worry too much about the end result. Just think about the person that you're making it for. I'm sure that they'll appreciate the effort that you've put in. And finally, uh, a bonus tip, uh, number 11, and one that we probably regard as being the most important. Uh, Anybody can carve love spoons, regardless of your ability level. The most important tip that we can give you is having the will to make your love spoon. If you want to do it, you'll do it, and it's the same. Some of these more complicated designs you can see on display, if you have that desire to do it and the determination to make that love spoon, you'll be able to do it. So our top tip from all of the others we've said is the will to do it. If you want to make it, you'll find a way of doing it. So stick at it and enjoy making your love spoon. So top tip from all of them is the will to do it. And there you have it. That is our list of top tips for carving Welsh love spoons. Thank you again. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Anyone who wants any tips, any advice, Feel free to ask us those questions. We're happy to do a video and explain anything that you're not sure about doing. Thank you again for watching and we'll be back soon with more videos.